year, year, year. What's going on, peeps? Welcome to the Other Coast Gaming Podcast. I am your co-host, D-Train, here with the other co-host with the mo-host, <laughs> Absolute Centron. Good morrow, sir. What it do? What up? Shout out to Mondays. They're still terrible. <laughs> Facts of life. <laughs> on this little episode of the Other Coast Gaming Podcast, we're going to talk to y'all about what we've been playing lately. My list isn't as long. Pause. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but got a make bit it up. We make it about. up for a couch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the size of the boat, but the motion. You right. know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let's get into the bag. So which, one, which one do you want to start with? For me, I've been playing. I played a couple of test games. Okay. Do you want to talk about before you start the game that you did not play? I think that's pretty funny, personally. <laughs> so, we get Gamefly here at the other coast so we could try out all this shit and tell y'all whether or not you should buy it. We got Anthem recently. Came on Friday. I spent the whole entirety of the weekend figuring out whether or not I should put it in my PlayStation or not. I've come to the realization that I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to send that shit back. <laughs> this is crazy. It's wild. It's yeah. It's a, a fucking dub. But yeah, so I had the opportunity to play that did not even want to risk breaking my PlayStation. So I sent that shit right the fuck back. Yeah. So for clarification, I did do some research. It doesn't look like, so initial reports were saying that it bricks your console. You understand what brick is? No. So a brick is pretty much when you do something to the, like, let's say like a software, like you, let's say you ever tried to jailbreak a phone and you heard like the horror stories that you could fuck up a jailbreak on a phone and the phone would literally not turn on. Nothing would happen. Oh, it would be yeah. completely like a dub. It's basically a brick because you can't, it can't do anything with it besides it'd be like a paper weight. Copy. So initial reports for Anthem that there was a glitch was doing that. And, um, they had since reported as of, I think today's the 11th, the day after Mario Day. Shout out to Mario Day. So basically, they found the patch. They did, they did a patch. They identified the bug. And basically, what was happening was it was just shutting down your PlayStation as if you pulled the power. Mm-hmm. And, like, you had to, like, do, like, a safe reboot in order to get it to, like, build it, rebuild the database. Wow. And then it would work again. So, it, it, so, in fairness, you can't say, like, not you, but I'm just saying in general, you shouldn't say that it was bricked because it didn't brick it. It just shut it down really hard and you had to reboot the software. Letting the crickets play. Because that's a bunch of bullshit. (laughs) Now, don't think for one moment, I don't think that's bullshit. (laughs) I just want to tell you that there's different terms. So one is really unacceptable and one is just really bad. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So like, Different levels, but I just wanted I just wanted for clarification sake. I hear that. I did not even want to risk that. So right back in the mail. You guys can keep your stuff. Thanks. I appreciate everything. So I'm super curious why you didn't want to play and just let me send it back. So for me, I played Andromeda early. I had Xbox or I had a uh, Origins, EA's Origins. And I played it early and it was horrendous. Like, I don't know if you ever saw the memes, but the crab walks and the people like you would talk to someone and their eyes would like be rolling in the back of their heads and like facial animations were crazy and people were getting stuck everywhere. It was a really bad game. So I put it down and I didn't play it for like a year plus. And I feel like it was been a year plus. It feels like a forever. If it's not a year plus, a uh, year plus, you don't have to shit on me. I'm just saying it feels like a decade. So I put it back, I played it and it was so much better. So I felt like I really wanted to give Anthem the fair one. Yeah. And right now, if I play it, I just know I'm not going to like it. Like, it's not going to be a game. Like, I wish I would have done this with Final Fantasy 15 where I would have. Yeah, I wish we played at the same time because when I played later on, I think you would have enjoyed that a much more. more than everything you about you. What you played, I would have enjoyed the fact that you could pick multiple people and change in between combat was something I was like, why the fuck didn't they do this in the beginning? Especially when you play the DLCs and then it goes back. I know I'm going on a tangent, but basically, 
there's certain games with that with patches that will make the game a much much better game now sometimes it's not drastic like i don't right. think what they're gonna add to kingdom hearts is gonna make this game like crazy a god of war none of that none of the patches really did anything that like totally changed the fundamentals but like a game like battlefront 2 if you played that game a year later i bet you you're enjoying it this game i think might be a game that if you play it a year from now you might be really happy i don't think that's an excuse now uh, i think there's more enough games that people probably don't have to ever have to pick up this game but for me as being a huge bioware fan where like mass effect 2 is like one of my top 10 games of all time could even be top five i really sat down and wrote down a list but i want to give that shoot that studio the fair one and actually wait till they fix their loot system fix their guns i don't know if they can fix the story really but just not a lot of glitches would be prime word and a lot of people hate their loot system so i'll trust their opinions <laughs> But yeah, that shit went back. So shout out to I'm sorry we did promise that we were gonna play that game. But um you yeah, know the, the mark, never, never say never. You know sometimes what I mean? the game doesn't meet the bar and that's okay. It's okay to skip. You don't have to play every game. I know you don't really like listen to like podcasts and stuff, but this shit, like the whole controversy around Anthem is nuts. Like people there's a group of people that think like well, first off, this is a long story, so if you wanna cut this whole thing down, you can, but <laughs> No, this is totally juice right here. So basically, it's like, I feel like there's multiple sides of this. So there's people who are sending Anthem a lot of bail. And I don't mean people that just genuinely like Anthem. I mean that people who I've seen, like, especially like commentators and stuff like that, like podcasters, be very, very critical of a game like Fallout 76, but then shoot Anthem like a lot of bail. And really nigga for me watching it i you know i don't think like you should like be on the internet and talk a lot of shit and start like cursing and you know just i I don't think you should attack people we've kind of went over this on the last show where we talked about that poor voice actress that went through all that shit like that's definitely not the approach that we don't want to take but i do think it's okay to be vocal about why you're upset you know like definitely bioware is releasing games lately that aren't to the standard that they've set before. But they still expect us to buy day one. They still expect us to support this thing months from now when it's actually ready. Like, it's it's okay for us to take a seven from an indie developer less hard than take it from, like, EA. It's also, and I'm not necessarily EA, like, it's to me, like, everyone wants to give shit to EA. I, I'm giving a lot of shit to Bioware. For the nonchalant gamers and the people who play on just like an average basis can you give a couple of games that bioware has made in the past i think and i'm not 100 percent sure but check check if dragon age is made by bioware i know mass effect trilogy is bioware and this is a new ip for them as being anthem but bioware is is, or is synopsis with yeah dragon dragon age Yep, Dragon Age is an action role-playing video game developed by Bioware and published by Electronic Arts. So they've made Dragon Age, which I know you haven't played. Dragon Age is a cool game. I never got really into it, but it, every time I see it, I'm like, this 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 would be a game. It I'm looks like a cool game. The next one I'm definitely going to jump into. And then Mass Effect. So that's their two, like, there's other ones, I'm sure. But, like, those are the two that really resonated with me a lot. And they're amazing games. You know, this is a top-tier studio. So that's why, I like, the 7 is not hitting the same way. Mm-hmm. That's why it means. Okay, so they have uh, they have a couple of titles here: Star Wars: The Old Republic. Yes, that game. So you remember, I, it, well, it's usually like it's called Knights of the Old Republic. It's Kotor. That's why there is. Don't even get me started on this. <laughs> this is why it's so fucking crazy that they're fucking up things on an, a game like Anthem that they've already made a game like this. Like I know the studio. The studio has to have some people that worked on both of those, right? Or you would think that someone would have to know like well we did all this shit we could le- use all that information and try to parlay it into here you know yeah it's just unbelievable yeah mass effect was a huge franchise that's very successful yeah a lot of people enticed me to play that game and i never actually gave it a shake it was just too much it was too in depth for me to get into at the time well i think but i think like, back I then would, too I you were more play it now yeah i think back then you were more into like you know like the call of duties and the other shits you know what i'm saying and i think like that game is a narrative game but man playing that game changed my fuck i heard it on a podcast and i wish i remembered who said it but i'm gonna steal it so this is me stealing it 
but sometimes when a game is released it kind of changes the landscape of games and it's unfair because sometimes it's people who like let's say someone did it and they've already made this thing but they're not as popular but then someone popular does it it's like they get credited for changing the wave like drake a lot of times like drake will be like he brought this sound and it's like no nah, that motherfucker did not bring that sound this dude brought that sound but he's drake so when he does it it changes it fucking it everything the map. yeah so i don't mean to take away from like smaller teams or people who are doing things that maybe i'm not aware of but to me there's certain games that come out and they change the way video games are made going forward people take from them and mass effect system of choices and i know i know like i just hear the comments saying shit like like people just shitting on that of being like well you, you can't say that people have made decisions in this you know point and click adventure or some shit i'm talking about like in a fucking video game that i'm sitting down and playing on my xbox 360 you're changing the whole course of your game like there was times that you could pick a game of character like which character lived and which character died and people died and those consequences meant something. And sometimes if you fucked a girl or a guy, I think you could fuck a guy in fairness, totally a female and male character, you could totally fuck and do whatever you want to do. Um, Ooh. there's totally gay people too. You could have a gay relationship. You'd be like, people, they went hard. Wow. That's very impressive. Yeah. So for you, like it, it you did the, the amount of agency it gave you as a player was just amazing. And we just want like, we wanted other games to do that because it just made us feel so connected to these characters. So that's why people just love Mass Effect and to see it dropping sevens, like people are fucking pissed and they're losing their mind. And people are like, you know, is it worth $60? And like certain people just don't want to say the obvious of no, it's not worth $60. Now, I understand that some people played $60 and really, really enjoyed the game. And that is okay for you. But I think as a whole, it's not a hard thing or ob- objective thing to say a loot shooter should get loot right. I've heard people not That's a be, fair assessment. Not be very excited about the story. This is a Bioware story. I expect nothing but greatness. Even good. Like and I don't know if it falls under good. I I'll personally play it and give it my, give it the fair one, but not right now. Yeah, I don't think because I'm like, dude, they have four helmets in the fucking game. That's a fact. That's not a lie. That is a fucking fact. That's embarrassing. They're saying like I was watching a was it Angry Joe? He was talking about like the drops, like the exotics and the regular guns are just different colors. Are you fucking kidding me? That that's game trash. is not ready. Like send that game. That's a fucking loot shooter, bro. Get that shit out of here. So in the gaming industry, people are just flipping out about this. Like some people are like getting shit on a lot because like you could clearly see like there's you you you're kind of pulling your punches a little bit. Didn't EA now I don't know if this is true, but didn't EA make them put that out early? So I don't know if that's true. I don't think EA I don't know what EA is doing and like where where it makes them bless you. I don't know where it makes them do that. So I don't know for sure. I know Andromeda was forced. They they definitely pushed Andromeda. That's my that's my bioware rant. Sorry, Anthem. Yeah. So trying to hit you on the on the rebound though, for sure. Totally. Right after Andromeda. He believes in you, Bioware. Right after Andromeda. You touched on it a little bit while we were talking Bioware, but I did play a little bit of Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah? Did did, you get to play as any characters? I did not, unfortunately, because stupid me signs in thinking I have a million loot crates. Fun fact, those loot crates aren't for free. You have to pay for those loot crates. What do you mean? And I fucking clicked on one that was like 60 grand and wasted all of the tokens. So now I only have <gasps> like 13,000. Oh my God. Because back in the day when you used to go in that section, it used to just be like you clicked on a bunch because you got a bunch. So you bought a bunch of credits with your 60K and then so you don't really have, that's fucking, but you got mad skins. Yeah, I did. I did get a couple skins. You got no, you got mad skins because they gave you a lot of skins and you bought a bunch of skins on top of that shit. So you probably have like so much swag. The only problem is all the swag is not for like Jedi's or something. Yeah, no. So, so kinda... I'm just like I'm sick that I didn't get any Anakin, Grievous, and they just all look so badass. Is is Battlefront one of those games where like if you have it, like you, I could do it or no? They don't do that. Did you say it again? Like, what do you mean? So certain games let you let 
people who don't have the DLC experience DLC stuff if oh. they play with people who have the yeah, DLC. Yeah, so it's not like a DLC in that sense where it's like a map or anything. It's just characters. So they don't like give you characters because I have characters. Because you can get you can attain them. You'll attain them for free. You right. just got to play. You know, they don't even let you buy them. Like, they're literally just in credits things. and You're just going to work and you're going to get them. Copy. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't get to play as anybody. I was playing around Heroes versus Villains, and I was like Luke Skywalker for a round. I only played one round. But um, he was awesome. <laughs> Did you, you played a little bit in the beginning, though. Does it feel like... I mean, Heroes or Villains didn't really change that much. But, I mean, just having all those characters. Yeah, and having the, the majority of those characters was like, that's really different. Because you got some people coming out. Like, it's awesome to see, like, a squad of just some new ass... People don't even pick, like, the old characters like that anymore. Unless you... And you know a person who doesn't have those characters. Yeah, yet. you're going to get one out of four that usually picks. Like, I was playing the other day, and they were just nonstop. Grievous, Dooku, Phasma, and it's like, you know, like Darth Vader or something. Like somebody they're just throwing in there. Like, I was watching. I was like, man, if they release just one more character, you could have a full team of just new people That's that were in the game when you did it. And I love that. You know, I Mace can't. Windu. Yeah, I want Ahsoka. Oh, my God, please. Damn, that was really Ahsoka, badass, too. I'm going fucking in. I'm going to make her goddamn Jedi Knight, man. Let me tell you. But, yeah, they made they made those characters really, really awesome, man. Yeah. Like I was fighting the guy who was grievous and like he was so he was getting saucy. So fun fact, I don't know if you know this, but you could do a custom arcade and you could select characters that you currently don't have. Oh wow. So you can play as the characters while you know. Just you know, obviously it's arc- arcade. It's like, you know, you're just playing against AI, but right. at least you get to try them out. It's something I want to do. They Anakin Skywalker look really cool. Good luck playing as them even when you get them. Let me tell you, the motherfuckers are going for Anakin like it's their job. The only good thing is now there's like so many cool characters that are like, you know, it's not as bad. It's not when they, were, they released Grievous. When they released Grievous, everyone picked Grievous. Like people would leave because there was no hero. <laughs> it was terrible. Those are dark times. Did you get behind the six of that? So I played Anakin. He's fucking awesome. He's so cool. He has an ability where he does like a giant like force push, but in a circular direction. So he like does like a massive force push out. It's like a circle and he gets everyone. And, you know, it's just for Battlefront for me, it just feels exactly what I want. It's and not yet because I still need a couple more characters. I do want Mace Windu really bad, but um, like a couple more Jedi's, a couple more Sith. But then this game is like all I've ever wanted really from a Battlefront game where you see like Anakin and fucking you see like Anakin, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi Wan? Are you kidding me? That's fucking awesome. That's literally so fucking awesome. I don't even know it what to do. Really like cool. my Star Wars brain is just like oozing out of my fucking head, man. I'm so hyped every time I hear it. Or I, I see love it. I love Lando that looks like Donald Glover. Yeah, Gambino. Gambino. That shit is pimp as hell. Battlefront has done an absolutely amazing job supporting that game they should have and i hope they continue because not god only knows when the next star wars game we're getting because they keep on telling me about this respawn game that i haven't seen but let me tell you i don't believe them for a second so hopefully they prove me wrong can't wait round of applause for battlefront 2 <laughs> i well, just right before we leave count dooku also fire if you don't play as him, he's he's one of my favorites. Like just flat out out of all of them, like he's so gross. I have no cards for him, and I'm beating the shit out of people. It's crazy. Damn. Yeah. So I'll go now. I played. So I bought on Amazon. They had Starlink Battle for Atlas, and it's a game I was looking at because it looked really really cool on the trailers for Switch, where they had a whole edition of, of Fox McCloud as like a DLC, which I thought I was like, man, that's fucking looks awesome. But it was $75. It was one of those Toys for Life games. And I was like, mm, if I know anything about Toys for Life games, if you just wait long enough, they will dump that product so cheap. And that's exactly what I got it for. So. <laughs> Lipped it on them. Yeah. So for me, it was good, though, because it was like, I, I thought it was 20 And it was like, you, on PlayStation and Xbox, it was 20 for switch it was 25 i'm like mm. pay that five bucks yeah that's why i said i was like yeah, i like <laughs> i like star fox he's my five dollar dlc so i bought him they sent it in the ship looks absolutely amazing 
if you're even a fan of Star Fox, the ship itself is worth the price of like admission. Another one. I love it. I mean, you saw it too, man. It looks like it just looks so fucking cool. It really does look cool. That shit. Even if that game is completely trash, Xander will have an absolute ball with that spaceship. He loves that spaceship. That thing is so cool. I have a four-year-old son, and I'm trying to show him like just different types of games, and he's he was like obsessed with spaceships, and he's starting to get like he's starting to like understand the concept of space. He's starting to find it like interesting. So I figured like, this is like a good thing for showing, uh, you know, kind of getting him introduced to space. You can you know change the guns on the fly, right on the um, ship, and then the ship itself, like you put a pilot in, and there's multiple pilots. There's a Fox McCloud pilot. There's the generic white dude i don't know his name but he looks like you know the, the captain america type hero and you know a bunch of other people that you can buy in addition to that are that i'm you know have different abilities and stuff like that just like you know skylanders that you'd buy certain characters stuff like that right then you put a ship on top of the character right and then the ship is now facing the opposite direction right so you can put like guns and stuff behind you and guns and stuff in front of you but when you're looking at the controller, it actually goes into like, you know, do you know those little joy grips, the joy con grips where it's, you got it with your switch where you, it's black and you slide the joy cons onto it. So you, it basically looks like that. You two viewers, you'll be able to see this right here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely chop this up. So the video itself, right? So the ship is in front of you. There's like a, a light on the thrust, like where like the, like your, I don't know what to call that, but like, you know, on a plane, there's like the circles and then like the fire shoots out of them. Yeah, the turbines, I think is what they're called. Whatever the fuck they're called. Those shits, it's blue and it lights up and then you just are literally like playing the game and the ship is like directly in front of you and you can like take the, you know, different weapons and make them left to right, backwards or forwards and stuff like that. And it changes the weapons on the fly, which is really, really cool. Very novel. Like as a grown man, I love this ship. I'm not going to play with that shit on me pretty much it's like it makes your fucking controller a little heavy you know what i'm saying yeah i was i was like looking at the the rig that they had for it and i was just like this feels like I put this on here it's a little weighty yeah it's definitely great it's definitely fun i like i love it personally but like i like things like that if you're asking yourself like should i buy this and like actually like how do i put this like if you're gonna buy this as like a, i want to see what this game's about i wouldn't really buy it for the whole set the whole you know spaceship and shit like that unless you have a switch if you have a switch get that shit with fox mccloud but if you have a playstation you just want to buy that shit i don't think that's a bad move so the game i don't know if anyone has seen it but hopefully we'll have gameplay on it now it's basically it looks just like no man's sky but no getting out of your ship and you spend a lot of time just running and doing missions for people and the missions themselves are not very like they're very generic to me but for some reason, I'm just really enjoying it. I, I, I It's some like a, just a very like mindless, like therapeutic game where I'm just like playing it. It's very mundane. It's a perfect game to play before bed. Like I'm like driving around. So there's some, you know, outlaws doing some shit. I'm going to go kill some outlaws. Oh, there's some, there's an animal over here. I've never seen. I'm going to scan the animal. Oh, there's these materials I need to go pick up from this plant to bring to this dude so he can upgrade my ship. I'm going to go do that. Like, and it's just like a sense of like exploring the world and seeing what the world has to offer. And then if I get bored. Dude, you fucking hit R, you hit up, go right to space, right from the ground to space, and it looks awesome. And then you can just kind of explore space as it were. So it has for me a lot of fun. It's the, it's to me, it's like what, it's unbelievable how much of like a Star Fox game it feels like. I know they weren't going for that, but when you have Star Fox like in the cockpit and cockpit and he's talking to you, and then like Skippy and. The other, like, the, all of them are talking to you as you're playing. They're talking shit about Wolf and shit. Like, Falco will say, like, if it ain't Wolf, we need to go after Wolf and shit like that. So I'm just watching it, and I'm like, this feels like a fucking Star Fox game to me. I love it. I mean, it's not as good as, like, a, a traditional, I'm sure, Star Fox game from back in the day. But, man, it's, like, a perfect blend of a fun fighter game. And, it, and, and like I said, I didn't think it was, I, I thought that this was not going to be, like, an in-depth story. They're going hard. With the story, they're trying to tell a narrative, and I mean, to me, it's very generic. So I don't mind like really like, oh my god, I wonder what's gonna happen with this guy, or this guy's name. Like, I, I I'm just here for the shits. I'm here to help you as, as Fox McCloud. <laughs> Fox was really fun when I played on Nintendo. I rented that game for like a week. 
Red Star Fox 64. Star Fox 64 was fucking awesome. And then they made one for... Hella fun. They made one for the DS, I think, the 3DS, and that was pretty good, too. And then they made one for the Wii U, and that was horrendous. Really, really, really bad. We'll do for a Star Fox some. Something I don't good. know. I hope that didn't kill it, really. I mean, they'll eventually do it again, but, like, I don't, I don't know what's, how that, that's in development. But, uh, yeah, super fun. Definitely think for 25 bucks, I'm enjoying it. I have no doubts that you know, other people would enjoy it. Swish. Kobe! Yeah, so, you know. I feel like this game is actually a little underrated, to be honest with you. I don't hear anybody talking about it. And I think it's it's good enough to be talked about, for sure, and purchased by people. I don't disagree. From what I saw when I was at your house yesterday, it seemed pretty fun. I wanted to play a little bit. That's definitely wanna. a fact. <laughs> Moving right along, I recently played a game that is my guilty pleasure go-to when I'm in lull of games. Xenoverse, Xenoverse. <laughs> Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And let me tell you, man, they support that game a lot, too. I got to give it to them. So I signed in after not having played in, I don't remember how long, for the last low that I had. But I signed in, and what is there? There's a new game mode. It's got the guy from the little mini series, the Dragon Ball Heroes the couple minute shits the dude with the glasses yeah boop his name I have him and he's got like a thing that he's trying to have you test out it's basically a you get to be the boss and everyone is attacking you so you know how you do like the raids or whatever with the people Cintron and you go in and it's six of y'all and y'all go in and fight the monkey or the whatever mm-hmm. well in this you're the monkey or the person that you're fighting or whatever, and you have super strength and defense. No one can make you flinch or anything like that. You could just, your health and everything is all enhanced. And hmm. it was just, cool. yeah, it was, it was actually really fun. Yeah. That I was surprised cool. that I, <laughs> I was surprised that I liked it as much as I did. And it is cool that they were supporting it. People, when you play online, people are fucking dropping the hammer on that ass. It is crazy. <laughs> Did you win or you lost? No, I completely lost online. I won against the computer, but I I lost online. Everyone was doing the fucking death bombs, right? Death bombs, yeah, the just death fucking charging up supers, and I was going to I attack that shit all the time. The fucking freeze, huh? but uh, but yeah, new game mode, very fun. Just <laughs> it's just weird. It's something that is just like so weird that they're still supporting that game. They made they've made strides. That figure game is still there. I was playing that shit. Still hella fun. Dude, uh, next month, I think it's on the 5th, it comes out, the Dragon Ball Heroes thing. Really? Yeah, I'm totally putting that on the docket for you. I'm like, that's definitely going to be Darius' I'm game. I'm absolutely going to play yeah. that game. I watched almost all those episodes. I don't know if they released any new ones lately of the the, the heroes? little anime. Yeah, that show's been pretty good. Um, I'm <laughs> it's gonna short save, as fuck. I'm going to save corny, up like mad of them. Good. I'm going to watch so many of them. I'm just going to save them all up and just get like maybe two episodes out of it or three episodes like <laughs> yeah it's it's funny it's definitely you should definitely save it up and, and watch it as like a whole thing when they say that they're done but i thought they were only doing a certain number of episodes and they already passed that number and it looks like it's just how many episodes going. do you remember you were at i thought it was like gonna be seven and i got to episode seven and it still is going from there hmm. to life that's pretty cool yeah but uh shout out to xenoverse 2 man new game mode was dope figure battles added some features that they needed to where you could like skip certain scenes and shit because like some of that shit just took hours to fucking load which was annoying so they fixed that shit that was awesome but yeah shout out to y'all what else you got on the the dock at Cintron because I saw you so I saw you play the messenger yesterday I love that game so much I can't stop playing it I'm getting to a point now where like I'm almost done like I've gotten like because it basically they show things on your save profile of like items and then there's like music notes and there's like weird purple guys that were supposed to build something it's a long story but <laughs> I've gotten all the purple guys I've gotten all the items I'm just getting the music notes because like the world's under a curse that's like the end game and I only need two more and I'm pretty much at the last one so I'm pro- we're probably going to run some some gameplay of messenger and I definitely want to talk about it more but I just want to wait until I'm going to, I'm going to review this game, give it a full review because this game has been so fucking good, man. I do. So I'll, I'll give you one. At a certain point, you upgrade your character so much that you can't do anything anymore. 
So you're just getting these coins or these little shards, they call them. And, you know, I have like 3000 or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know what to fucking do with these things. And the, the game is very like funny. Like it's very aware that it is a video game and it's poking fun at video games. So it's like in this, in this other world, let's call it, there's like a shop and he has like a bunch of weird shit down there, but he goes, um, like a sink was there, like just a regular metal sink in this like futuristic world. And you're like, what the fuck is the sink for? And he's like, well, people kept on complaining that there's no, there's nothing to spend money on. So we place a sink and you can put shards in it. And the guy's like, well, does it give me anything? He's like, nope, absolutely nothing. And he's like, I don't really believe you. And he's like, I know I've been very tricky towards you, but I'm telling you, it does absolutely nothing. And he's like, I'm probably going to put money in. And he's like, I'm telling you that absolutely no reward will come. <laughs> like, he's like, I'm flat out telling you there's nothing. So, like, as an idiot, I put in a thousand. A thousand coins right under it. Boom. I'm like, nothing happened. Maybe if I put another 500 in. So, I put another 500. Because I'm like, there has it has to trigger something. Now, I'll revise the story if it actually does trigger something. But I'm going to keep on throwing thousands in every time I get, like, three or four thousand. Because, dude, like, a hint is, like, 300. I have like fucking four thousand. <laughs> like I don't need. I have two thousand. Like five hundred eighty. Yeah, it's an excess at that point. Yeah, but it's how funny is that that a game does? That's fucking. That's actually ha- pretty hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Good, good for them. I love that game. And you should definitely buy it if you haven't already. But don't worry, I'm gonna keep on talking about them. Um. So yeah, I played the Messenger. I think the biggest game that I played is Lost Legacy. Um, oh. that probably be like an ending thing. Do you have anything else, or you're good on your games? The only other thing that I played this week was I picked up the sticks and played a little bit more Kingdom Hearts. That's good. And I I went through some of the levels more in depth because I felt like when I initially went through, I was kind of like Russian. I didn't really chest search. I didn't really emblem search or anything. So I went to the first like couple of levels and just went to see how many I could just find off the rip kind of just exploring the map and stuff found a bunch of chests found a bunch of emblems and stuff like that I'm trying to work to get the the items so I can make the ultimate weapon but I have to be able to get more items to do the ultimate weapon but after you beat the game they have those like battle gate things Mm -hmm. did you play any of those I did those shits are really fun yeah they're pretty hard when, when you get to the later ones I got to the toy story one and uh I got fucked up <laughs> a couple of times. I was getting fucking pissed. Super pissed. Yeah, I played them. I think they're cool. I don't think that they're, not to get into spoiler you talk, but I don't think they're as cool as like the Coliseums and stuff. I kind of miss the Coliseum, personally. That's fair. Um, especially they brought me to Hercules' world. Like, what the fuck? I thought they were doing that just because they wanted the Coliseum. Like, they were like, I don't know how to put the Coliseum in this. Like, you know what I mean? Make it make sense. So we'll just do right. another Hercules world. And I was like, I'm okay with it. It's an interesting feature. And I was doing doing those along with my scavenging. That made for a made for a fun experience for a little while. That's cool. We're definitely planning on doing a spoiler cast, but we it's just so long. It's a lot of work putting these videos out for y'all, just so you know. Definitely. <laughs> but we appreciate any loves, shares, likes, all that stuff, and we love comments. So we just... definitely appreciate the the retweets, the the likes, the follows, all that shit. We appreciate y'all one hundred. Motivates us to keep on giving you the content. You know what I mean? Facts. Another one. So we played. Um, so I finally beat Lost Legacy. It was on my backlog, and I finally got around to it. And Uncharted Lost Legacy. I am so glad that I played. Get the applause. Yes, it deserves all the applause. I know a lot of Uncharted fans did not play it, but I I would highly recommend that you go back and play it. I think it's. I think it's full price, thirty dollars, but I found it on sale many times for twenty. I paid very little for this game. I don't remember, but it was under ten dollars. Damn. And yeah, it was one of those like really good sales, and I was like, I'm gonna buy it. And I can't believe how fucking awesome it is, and why I waited so long. Question one that I have of that game yes. before you even start off is Nathan Drake in that game. So I'm gonna answer that question, but you cannot ask any more follow-up questions because eventually you will name someone that is in the game Copy. so no nate and he is not in the game at all okay proceed your honor <laughs> <laughs> so the game is all about um a character named nadine 
who is in charge of Ooh, Nathan Nadine. I see what you did there. Ah. There is a basically she's in charge of that um, military group that was in the fourth game. I know you didn't get to play that, but she was basically the main chick, the main villain from the fourth one. I mean, it was another girl. She really wasn't the main one. She was like more like the muscle with the crazy psycho dude. Right. And then Chloe is in it as well. You remember Chloe? I do. Yeah. It's her sexy ass, isn't it? And hey. they're in India and they're basically looking for something of her past. And you learn a lot about her past and Nadine's past and their dynamic together is just really fucking awesome. They're just like, they're very like standoffish at first. No one trusts anyone. You know, they just build like a camaraderie together. That's just really cool. It was really like funny. They were funny together because Chloe's fucking hilarious. Like Chloe's like, that's a fact. This is her moment to shine. Like she was definitely always like a female Drake to me. And she, she, she honors that role and she fills the shoes like perfectly. It was so much fun. And uh, the game looks absolutely fucking beautiful still. Like, I'm watching it, and I'm like, fuck, they knew what they were doing, man. I can't wait for Last of Us 2. Or, or I would, you know, for me personally, I would love Uncharted to continue doing, like, standalone DLCs like this. I'm sure it's a, an asinine amount of work. I'm sure it's so hard for them to do it. But, man, did I love it. I wonder if it would have sold well if they would have done it. That's the world I would have lived in. Because I would, bro, I, dude, after I played that, if they were like, yeah, we're coming out with another one next year, I'd be fucking in. 100%. That's awesome. Because it was just a short experience. It was short, like probably about seven, well, let's say six to eight hours. I don't remember. I, I think I was somewhere in the seven mark. But I didn't do it. Dude, there were so many missions I could have went around and picked stuff out. And there was this whole thing I could have gotten, like a, like a necklace, but I didn't get it because I was just like, I don't want to really do side shit. I'm just really trying to mainline it. And um, it, just a nice experience like that was really fun, man. I, dude, if you put that shit out for 20, 30 bucks... I can't see why people shouldn't get it. The amount of polish that shit has was ridiculous. So we're going to show you some screenshots that we picked. I, Uncharted's all about the story. I don't want to get too much into the story. Just for me personally, they did introduce someone from the main series, and I thought it made sense perfectly. The world looked beautiful. Gunplay, I never was a big fan of on Uncharted, but the pat, the just the gameplay and how it flowed, really cool one part that i really enjoyed so if you remember in uncharted 2 they had that awesome train sequence Definitely. where the train moved around the mountain Did they have that in this game oh, and that's it, cool. it brought back all the feels because i remember playing that shit and being amazed when i saw that and now it's like they just did an updated version to themselves that was a fun game uncharted 2 yeah N- another question for you sure did you get a trophy list with that yes you do i don't think it has a platinum I'm not a, you know what I'm gonna hold if you have another question shoot but I'm gonna look that up so you said it took you seven hours to play yeah right around there maybe it may be eight you know not six probably from like seven seven to eight I would say and you said that there was side missions that you skipped so in all you think it could probably be like ten maybe if you wanted to find every piece of treasure and, and do maybe like a platinum run yeah definitely it does have a platinum Ooh. and it's not really a hard platinum 2.1 here at the other coast, we're all about the trophies, so that's a big deal here. I don't know, it, 2.1% got it. That's a pretty high percentage for Platinums, so it's not unbelievable. Yeah, so Lost Legacy exceeded my expectations. It was a great game to see that just with a lot of polish, where, like, dude, she's, like, shifting, and you, like, you can see her arm shifting the gears when she's accelerating and stuff. You know, to see her like look in a rearview mirror or, or like kick up mud and the mud is like going all over the fucking doors or when she jumps in the water, her clothes are wet. Like just seeing those touches after playing games like Jump Force and looking at just the lack of polish that game had. It's just so refreshing and I just really excited for The Last of Us 2 and I just can't wait. But yeah, Lost Legacy definitely gets my seal of approval. I don't believe in reviewing games that are DLCs. Um, I think DLCs for me are personally a buy or don't buy because it's a DLC. Sometimes it's a little weird to give like a numbered score because I'm supposed to review it as an Uncharted game because that's not fair, personally. It's only yeah. I don't, I'm 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 with that. Not it's not even over ten. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, buy it. Great game. That's about all I got. Yeah, I think that just about wraps it up. Yeah, so let's talk about what we're gonna do going forward. So we're definitely doing a spoiler cast of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Next, uh, next one should be a video of the news and, you know, a couple games we're looking forward to. So division comes out on the 15th. I think Darius says he's going to get it. We'll see. Says he talks about a lot of games. This one might be the one. 
Your boy Cintron is totally getting it. Day one. I'm getting it out with the $15 off tip. I'm saving my $15 points that they gave me from the, from the little sale that they ran I'm last. I'll leave you Christmas. when I see you playing that shit and you send me an invite. All right, bro. Listen. So there's that game we're going to get. And then I think Shikiro Shadow. Oh, Shikiro. Shikiro, that shit. I think, I think, I think I feel it. I think I want it. Shadows died twice. I want to try that too. Yeah. So we're probably going to get that from Gamefly. But you said that that was the people who made Bloodborne, which I don't know if you had an update on that before we go, but. No, I'm getting my ass kicked. I can't even get past. <laughs> I can't even get past the fucking first part. But fuck that game. I'm not giving up <laughs> until Division. I'm gonna keep on playing that game. The problem is you can't. I can't the game is so hard to play because I have kids. Like I have to like slightly pay attention sometimes. And like I can't play that shit when they're here. They're fucking everywhere. Nah, that's facts. Jackson is. He'll be in some. Yeah. So I just don't attention. even. I can't even play that game. But anyway, yeah, it's super hard. I think that's the two games I was thinking of. There's, I feel like there's one game that I'm forgetting, but oh, Yoshi's Crafted World. I was thinking about playing with that game because it is a Switch release and it seems like a really cute game. I was wondering that might be a game I could play with Xander as like a, a really cute platformer. We'll see. I'm turning that one around. If you have an idea of a game we should be playing, let us know. Word, drop a comment, like, subscribe, check in with us on Twitter at the underscore other coast. You know who it would be.